All right, we'll go to uh, Zona Guy. Zona Guy. Zona Guy. Hey. Hi, Robbie and Carrie and Christy. Your show they is awesome. They didn't know you were going to be here. Well, uh, well, they I'm would have just I'm inserting you. it there yeah, so okay. that Good. they can appear Good. to be right on the ball. They'll be like, who yeah. is this Christy? Mm, yes. Okay, sorry. Zona Kay. Guy. No, no apologies. Your show is awesome. I usually Thanks. catch it downloading it through Miro. Cool. I do a boot. XP and Ubuntu system and was wondering if I could mount the Windows XP NTFS file partition, access them through Ubuntu to play my MP3 music files located there. Sure. Yeah, cool thing. Um, and I wish that I had an NT NTFS uh, drive on this computer so that I could actually show you, but I'm just going to have to, you're going to have to trust me here. With that drive in your computer, when you click on places and you go down here and you see computer and CD and I see these because I don't have another hard drive. One of the options in this list is going to be whatever size your hard drive is. So if it's, say, a 200 gig NTFS hard drive, you're going to see 200 gig drive in that uh, as an option. So you click on that, and then that automatically mounts it. Sometimes you have to click it again now to bring it up, uh, but that's going to take you right into the root folder of that drive, so you see your documents and settings and things like that. Um, it's that simple. Uh, mm -hmm. If you want to permanently set it so that it mounts every time you turn on your computer, that's easy enough, but we need to know a little bit more about your hard drive, where it, uh, like the UUID. If you look up uh, FSTAB, or you ask about setting up an NTFS drive with FSTAB uh, on, uh, on our forum, category5.tv, in the show notes for episode number 71, FSTAB is a file in your Linux system that basically it's your file system table, and your, your system upon boot goes through that file and automatically mounts all these different drives that you've told it to mount. So, uh, so we can set it up to actually auto-mount that uh, to wherever you'd like. But you can still access it just using your Places menu as well. 